Recent polls have found that younger Singaporeans are particularly worried about the COVID-19 pandemic and what it means for them. Findings from the National Youth Council show that, there, that about three in four said that they would be impacted, whether in terms of graduation timelines or even their career prospects. A large proportion of respondents were also concerned about their mental well-being during the circuit breaker period, even as they broadly supported it. Now, for more insight, we're joined by David Chua, is Chief Executive of the National Youth Council. Good evening, David. Thank you for joining us here this evening. So according to these polls, hi, hi there, according to these polls, mental well-being appears to be something that concerns younger people more than older people even. What would you put that down to? Uh, it's because the young people are going through key transition stages and when you add on the uncertainty from the COVID-19 situation and all the circuit breaker measures, uh, these transitions are going to feel tougher and the issues associated with mental well-being will become amplified. So in this survey, three main reasons cited for why young people feel their well-being will be affected were future uncertainty, financial stress and access to daily necessities and services and possibly bubble tea. Now for, for non-youth like me, uh, the areas of stresses and levels of stresses are also high, but we have more life experience to buffer us and we've gone through tough patches before. So there's a better sense that we'll get through this. But across all ages, we do see a perceived increase in this feeling of disruption. So we anticipate uh, increasing mental wellness issues across the board. Uh, yeah, uh, David, you pointed out that a lot of these issues that they are pointing out are quite similar to the ones that all Singaporeans are also concerned about, but we kind of like buffer it because we've experienced it before. Um, would you, are there any findings from your surveys that points to um, anything particular to all the Singaporeans, things that they're particularly concerned about? Yeah, so when the young people say uh, they are concerned about future uncertainty, what they're really referring to uh, is a sense of purpose, which is linked to their intrinsic life goals. They're also talking about their sense of agency of being able to cope or face with the uncertainty. And this has to do with growth mindset, self-efficacy, and so on. And when they talk about financial stress and access to daily necessities, uh, they're talking about a sense of control, which is about having that financial stability or that structured routine around their life. So what young people are saying is that... Uh, I may not be quite sure about my purpose, how the situation has impacted my life goals, where I'm headed, what I want to do, what my pathway is right now and what my prospects are. And they're saying that uh, my sense of control is affected because my routines are disrupted, my exams and my graduation schedules are thrown off, uh, I'm experiencing distress in adjusting, I can't grab the grip of my routine because the lines between study, work, social and family are now blurred. And there's less of a mental boundary between the virtual and physical world, which we flip in and out as if the worlds are so interchangeable. Uh, so sense of purpose, sense of control, sense of agency could be a little uh, degraded. There's also one aspect which we'll be tracking. Uh, the young people are saying over the last few weeks, and we do that through a weekly tracker, that uh, they find that the top challenge is the ability to interact with friends and that harks to a sense of belonging or community which is really important because these involve social support networks uh, comprising friends and family and is a fundamental driver of youth mental well-being and an important aspect whether in a COVID or non-COVID situation. So these are the areas which the young people are saying we probably need to pay attention to uh, particularly for young people, but I would venture to say also for across all citizens that these are areas we probably need to watch out for as we go forward. And some of the interventions and some of the programs we put out has to address these aspects. David, the, the poll is also showing the great amount of empathy that young people in Singapore are exhibiting during this crisis. We've seen examples of them stepping up to help the vulnerable in the community, whether it's cooking food for migrant workers or perhaps even sewing those reusable masks. So was the system done right, do you think, to have produced that, kind, that group, that, that empathetic sort of zeal that they have? I would say it's uh, just the system, but I think our young people are full of aspirations and empathy, as you pointed out. And they see a possibility in channeling some of these energies into doing good. Uh, we saw it pre-COVID. 
And despite COVID, they are still stepping forward. And you see so many examples and so many are are inspiring to me personally. Um, The ones that really speak to me, though, uh, are the small things and the small individuals and organizations that are stepping in to fill up the cracks that make a difference to the localized areas of need, which sometimes get missed out in reporting and we go about unawares because we are aware of the bigger initiatives. So individuals like uh, Silver Wong or from the Youth Corps who helps vulnerable families do grocery runs. And in this case, she's helping a 61-year-old senior who has a special needs daughter who can't be left alone at home. And her husband is in Malaysia because of the Malaysia lockdown. So she does the grocery runs for them. Individuals like Shobana Sritaran, who provides emotional support for foreign workers in her initiative. Personally, I, 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 I saw and met some individuals like SIA stewardesses, uh, a shark conservationist from, who runs an ecotourism business. They, they were among a bunch of people that stepped up in less than 15 hours to pack 12,000 care packs for foreign workers uh, over two days. Uh, so the, the, the ones that inspire me are these little stories that, that are coming up. Uh, uh, but no kudos to all the other big initiatives that are coming on. And I think that speaks well for the young people of Singapore who say, I can do something. I have a sense of agency. Uh, despite the challenges, I want to step up and I want to do my part and contribute. So that's very encouraging. And that's something I want to encourage our young people to continue doing, notwithstanding all the challenges. David, thank you very much for sharing that with us this evening. We've been speaking there to David Chua, Chief Executive of the National Youth Council.